Kyler, you guys talked a little bit Saturday night about feeling like you left the uh, foot off the pedal on Saturday. Just when you guys watched it again on the film, just what kind of stood out to you in that, that way? And did you kind of still feel that way after, you know, rewatching the game? Uh, no, I don't think we ever let the foot off the pedal. I don't think that's um, the way our offense works. Uh, I think their defensive scheme and the way they were sending blitz hurt us a little bit. And uh, definitely the turnovers, you know, just um, – them coming up with big plays on first downs is what hurt our drives. Uh, so it, it really wasn't, you know, us giving in or anything like that. You know, it was just them making some plays and uh, us not executing like we should. Y'all have been such a good first half team this year. What do you think's caused the faster starts this year compared to previous seasons? And you went into it a little bit just now, but just how difficult is it to kind of keep that going for four quarters? Obviously, there's been a big difference between the first half and the second half. Uh, it's definitely difficult to um, keep any kind of offense going for the whole game, especially um, how advanced defenses are now and how many fronts they can run. And, uh, you know, they make their halftime adjustments, which has really been hurting us this year. Um, and we got to – we have to be able to, you know, adjust off their adjustments. So um, – just be able to, you know, keep doing what we're doing and keep going fast. You know, we try to use our tempo at his advantage um, and be able to slow them down and get them tired. So we just got to keep on going. Callard seems like everybody else on the offensive line has been hurt at some point this year. And Coach Jones talks about guys playing through injuries. How are you able to stay so healthy? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. Um, Flexible ankles, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Coach was talking about trying to have that kneel in focus, being more focused at home and kind of mentioning the locker room, maybe the players who aren't playing, the injured players, the guys who aren't, to, to kind of make sure the players that are playing are as focused as possible and not interfering. Is that something you think that's necessary? And why do you think it's been difficult to kind of carry that focus you have on the road over to home? Uh, I don't think any of us are not focused for the game. I think everyone out there, everyone that's going to play is, is locked in and ready to go. Um, I think Coach Jones was just mentioning that it, you know, if if the players that aren't playing or the injured players were to, you know, let guys go, let them, let them lock in, that we'd be even better. I mean, it's definitely not a problem. I'm definitely not getting any interference from other guys that aren't playing. Um, actually getting support. Um, all the O-linemen, the hurt ones, the, the guys that are the twos or the red shirts, you know, they're, I mean, anything they can say to me to, you know, just get me locked in, just have a good game, um, go out there and, and you know, be a good player. So, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily a problem by any means. But if, you know, if guys are able to step up and just understand how focus, like, works, um, then we can be a better team. Kyler, Coach Jones has mentioned how Kendall Vickers squats over 700 pounds. On the telecast Saturday, they mentioned Owen Williams benches over 600 pounds. How much do you bench? How much do you squat? And what's the atmosphere like in the gym when those guys are about to max out and try to put up those kind of numbers? Uh, the atmosphere is crazy. Um, a lot of the times it's O-line, D-line lifting together. So uh, being able to watch those guys uh, go up and lift that much weight kind of as an O-line, you're like, dang. I got to go against him in practice every day. Uh, I would definitely say Kendall's uh, favorite pass rush move is bull rush because he loves to use all the strength in his legs that he has. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a little bittersweet when you see him because you're like, dang, they're going to they're gonna be really good this year. But at the same time, you're like, I got to go against them every day in practice. But it, it's, it's really great, and it's a testament to Coach Lawson and everything that he um, – everything that he has put into this program and how much, you know, all of our weights have gone up and, and how strong everyone on the team is. Kyler, are you ever surprised when you're watching film because of all the injuries and young guys playing at how much success the offensive line is having and that you, you guys are consistently rushing for over 100 yards a game? Uh, not necessarily surprised, no. Um, going into this season, I knew we were a really good offensive line. Um, I knew we I knew we had struggles last year, especially because, you know, no one played before and it was, you know, very new to us. But um, ever since then, 
the guys who did play held everyone to a high standard. And, you know, we want to, you know, get our backs over 1,000 yards in the season. You know, we want to be able to run the ball whenever we want, and we want to be able to protect Dobbs. And, you know, I hold myself to a high standard as much as I hold Dontavious Blair, Chance Hall, Brett Kendrick, Drew Richmond, all the tackles. I hold them all to a high standard as, as much as me. So if, if I need to learn a new play, they need to learn a new play. If, if my kick steps aren't right, I need to make sure theirs is right. So um, just with that mentality and everyone that, that is playing, all the leaders on the team, all the older guys, and it you know, bleeds down to the younger ones and they understand how important it is to be on the O-line. Kyler, you kind of mentioned some teams have been making some halftime adjustments on defense. What did you see out of South Carolina? What do they do differently after halftime? And how hard is it to kind of counter adjustments when you're in the middle of a game and you don't have uh, a halftime to kind of to switch things up? Uh, it's very hard to, you know, understand exactly what they're doing. I mean, uh, we have to be able to get a good view of it. Um, a lot of the things they were exchanging on the backside, which takes off the read option uh, aspect in, in a zone play. Um, where they bring the backside linebacker outside uh, on a blitz. You know, they were sending a lot of nickel crash from the field. And, you know, that disrupts everything that we're trying to do running-wise and them st like slanting the fronts up front. And, you know, it makes it a little harder to get on your blocks. So, um, but, you know, we're, we're a full offense. It's not just all the running game. So when they started doing that, it left the passing game a little open. Um, it made it to where guys were more in one-on-one -on -one matchups, and we were able to succeed with that. And Dobbs was able to sling it around all he wanted. Kyler, Coach Jones is always talking about pride in performance. Do you ever look at what's going around in, in the league, watching highlights, look at stats or anything like that? For example, seeing what, what Alabama did to LSU, and then knowing you guys ran for over 130 yards in Tuscaloosa and doing quite a bit better than what probably the number one front runner in the Heisman Trophy race did. Uh, yeah, uh, Coach Mo is huge about that. Um, almost every week he's talking about, hey, you know, how did we do versus Georgia's defense uh, and Florida did versus Georgia's defense? Or how did Georgia do versus Florida versus us versus Florida? Or Georgia versus Alabama versus us versus Alabama? And, I mean, I'm sure this week he's going to say, you know, LSU versus Alabama with us versus Alabama, you know. Um, you know, you do compare with all the other teams in the SEC and, you know, a huge – thing for us as O-line is we want to be the best rushing team in the SEC. Um, and we're third right now behind LSU and Georgia. So that's who we're competing against every week um, is to be even better uh, than, than them. So uh, it is a definitely a driving factor for us to be able to get all those rushing yards.